Hi United Way family. You have been in my heart and on my mind. We, since the three weeks since George Floyd's death, have been doing so much work to bring together the Law Enforcement Leaders of Color collaboration to determine where can we agree and move forward together. The charge of that group is all about building trust and know that we are putting our trust in that process to make sure that our community comes out stronger than ever. I've been trying to sit down and write a message to you for that time frame, and finally it just occurred to me I just need to speak from my heart and uh, let you know what's going on with United Way. First, United Way has centered racial equity and tried to reduce racial disparity and economic stability for over three decades. Starting with the Schools of Hope project and advancing all the way through the agenda for change, you really asked us to focus in on the root causes and then the root causes of the root causes, which create so much instability in our community. And that is coming out right now with the pandemic, as well as with the racial tensions that are going on across our country. Know that the resources you give to United Way are directly impacting access, opportunity, and focusing in on the systemic changes that need to happen to make sure that more people are on pathways to stability. We are also working very hard to empower leaders of color in our community, people with lived experience in poverty, to be able to train them, support them, empower them to serve on nonprofit boards and other committees across the community. We know that centering their voices is so critically important to making sure the work that we do creates the results that we all expect. And last but not least, I want to make sure that you know that we're also doing our part to equip you, our donors, our volunteers, our business partners, and our agency partners, and so many more, to understand the root causes of equity and racial inequity, to make sure we're more comfortable talking about race and racism, and to learn how to be more anti-racist. By getting proximate to the issues, by understanding the historical context that got us to here, and to make sure that all of us have a Dane County where everyone can succeed in school, work, and life. That is our commitment to you, and I promise there is much more to come. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your partnership. That's what we mean when we say the power of many working for all. Know that we are on the ground in this moment, and we'll continue to work together to make sure that our community is strong for every individual who lives here. Thank you.